Do all of the people that you've mentioned in the exempted categories have to make up their fast later on? Out of the 13 categories which I mentioned, the first three categories, they don't have to make up their fast later on. That is a non-Muslim, that's a person who's a minor, and a person who's insane. Out of the remaining 10 categories, two categories, a person who is disabled for long, and a person who is very elderly. These two people also don't have to make up for their fast, but they have to pay a ransom, the feeding of a poor person for every fast they missed. As far as the other eight categories are concerned, the moment the condition in which they are, it gets reversed, then they have to make up for the fast which they missed. For example, in the eight categories are, the menstruating lady, moment she finishes the menstruation, then she should make up for a fast as soon as possible, before the next Ramadan. A woman who is in the period of postnatal bleeding, the moment it gets over, she has to fast. If a lady is pregnant, the moment the pregnancy gets over and the postnatal bleeding gets over, then she has to fast. If a lady, the fourth category, if she's breastfeeding, after the breastfeeding is over, then she has to fast. Or a person is sick, the moment he gets healthy, he or she has to fast. Similarly, a person who's traveling, moment he finishes his traveling, he has to fast. And a person who's taking part in jihad, fighting in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, moment the fight gets over, he or she has to fast. Similarly, a person who's in compulsion and is not fasting, the moment the compulsion is removed, he or she has to fast. But naturally, all these have to be done before the next Ramadan.